Ladies and gents, I gotta tell you, when you look at cars and you see them online or in video or in uh, print, you know, they look fantastic, but it never does it justice. You know, when you look at a car like this in person and you can appreciate all the lines and the details and the, you know, just the, the beauty of this car, it's absolutely amazing. Check it out. Our first 2023 Chevrolet Corvette C8 Z06. This car got here a few days ago. It was sold before it arrived. Uh, the customer's coming tonight to pick it up, so I have about 10 minutes that I can take just to kind of go over the spec with you. I have the window sticker here. Uh, then the person who sold it, Dave Freeman, is going to go bring it for gas. We'll fill it up. We'll get it over to detail, and then the customer will pick it up today. He wants to take it today. Hopefully the weather holds out for him. Uh, we've had a couple little sun showers move through. It's supposed to be rainy the rest of the week, so hopefully he can get it home, if that's his goal today, to get it home uh, and into the garage. And then, uh, you know, the rest of the week will be a rainy week. Maybe he drives in the rain, maybe he doesn't. I really don't know. I mean, you know, it's a car. It's made to get wet. You know, it's okay to drive it in, in that sort of weather. Uh, so what is this, actually? This is a 2023 Corvette Z06. It's a coupe. Obviously, you can see here in torch red. It does have the jet black interior. And this is a 3LZ model. My manager actually spec this car out himself once we got the allocation from General Motors. Uh, MSRP of this vehicle as equipped is $129,305. Uh, the first thing you're going to see on a window sticker is a gas guzzler tax of $2,600. According to the window sticker, it will use 6.7 gallons per 100 miles. Uh, that's a rating of 12 miles per gallon in the city, 21 on the highway with a combined average of 15. Uh, spending about $10,250. Uh, on fuel costs over five years based on however they come up with that calculation. The next thing my manager added here was the front lift, the adjustable height. So that's $2,595. That's the front lift. It will lift this car up to two inches and store, I believe up to a thousand locations in the system. So if you have a, a driveway or maybe places you frequent that have like a large incline or some sort of a speed bump or something like that, and you want to lift the car up to clear that obstacle, uh, you can do so. So this car does have that front lift. He also added for $495 the black spider aluminum wheels, which look fantastic. You know, Corvette in red, torch red like this is a classic color, it looks awesome. What really looks great is all the contrasting uh, black items, like the front end here. You get the wheels, you get the mirrors, you get the side vent, uh, accents, the spoiler, you know, all that sort of stuff just really pulls the car together and uh, really makes it look nice, uh, you know, with those, the, the contrasting between the red and the black. With the calipers, rather than doing the bright red, he decided to add the edge red, which I like. You know, the bright red would have matched the car pretty much identically. The edge red is a little bit darker. Uh, you know, it's funny actually, I didn't even uh, take notice to under the, under, I should say the hood, under the, the trunk lid here where our 5.5 liter engine is, the valve covers are actually the same edge red color. So it does tie that together a little bit, which is nice. Plus I think with the black wheels, it looks good because it gives you the red that's just enough to know it's there without being so bright to take away from the rest of the car. With the black wheels, you still sort of get like a dark look, even though again, those calipers are, are red. He also added the black lug nuts, which again is a nice little touch. I just mentioned the carbon flash, the black mirrors, the black spoiler. And one thing I noticed on the Z06, again, this is the first one I've ever seen. It's the first one we've had. Uh, they have the Corvette symbol here rather than the Stingray on the rear deck lid. I thought that was a nice little touch, something a little different for the Z06. And also you have your center mount exhaust rather than your, your you know, quad tip uh, outside mounted exhaust. And we got the black tips. So that blends in, you know, very nicely here as well. Do you want to hear it? Should I hit the uh, remote start here?
hope one day we do GM training, and I hope when we do that, we do GM training, I should say. I hope the next time we do it, they actually take us for a hot lap in a Z06. That would be awesome. I uh, generally do it in the regular C8 Corvettes. To be in the passenger seat with a pro behind the wheel of this car is something I would love to experience. Now this 5.5 liter flat plane crank engine uh, pumps out 670 horsepower. What's really cool is they have a little Corvette uh, badge here, handcrafted by Shane Parker in Bowling Green, Kentucky, USA. It's got his uh, signature on it there, which is really pretty cool. So, you know, again, a nice little touch for someone spending the kind of money they spend on this car to know who built your engine and handcrafted it is really, uh, really pretty cool. Obviously, storage space in the back here, same just like the regular C8, so no, nothing different there. Uh, this one has your spoiler off the back lid here. It's not a Z07 package or anything like that. You know, I think it's a beautiful looking spoiler. I like the fact it comes off right off the back of the car and uh, kind of flares out past it. Looks awesome. One thing you can't help but notice, we had another Corvette delivered the same time as this one, a regular C8, and this one was parked in the front. Actually, this one was parked in the back. The other C8 was parked in the front. And when you look down the side, it's probably hard to tell here, you know, how much wider these, uh, these fenders really are to house the bigger tires. But when you had this car here and the other one right in front of it, you can really see the difference. And it was incredible. I mean, it's, it's the wide body on this car looks phenomenal. It looks so awesome. And it's funny how you can take a car like a C8, which looks as great as it does, and then a Z06 comes out and it just completely takes it up a notch. You know, just when you thought it couldn't be any better, it's that much better. On the window sticker, I'm just happening to notice these dark uh, stealth Corvette cross flags are actually an option, $225. So we did add that to the vehicle as well. We talked about the mirrors, we talked about the wheel, uh, the wheel, um, uh, lug nuts also the black wheel locks it has that which is $125 we added the battery protection package which is a hundred bucks I think that pretty much covered everything on the outside of the car on the inside of the car we have the stealth interior trim package which I think is a must-have especially with a black interior this is a black interior so your speaker grills and things like that are all gonna be like a darker black color versus the silver aluminum color that they were so I think that looks really nice. It this defines it perfectly with the name. It's the stealth look, right? So that's really cool. And then for $495, they did add the adrenaline red stitch because this one is a 3LZ. So it does have like all the suede materials on your, your pillars and on your headliner and all that sort of stuff. And then they added the red stitch. This does have the carbon fiber in the wheel with the red center line stripe, stitching all down here, all leather wrapped. Uh, no extra carbon fiber in here, like the, the different packages of carbon fiber. So it doesn't have that, which in my opinion, it really doesn't need. Like this looks dressed up enough. And uh, quite frankly, you save a bunch of money if you take that carbon fiber out of the car. Uh, again, this car MSRP'd for $129,305. Give it, I'm gonna give it a little rev, slight revs. It feels so much different than the standard C8 as well. You can tell the difference in the power of this engine because the pedal has some pressure to it and you just you put a little bit of pressure on that pedal and that RPM range just uh, shoots up. My time is pretty much up with this car. Dave has to get it over for gas. He's actually on his way out here right now. Uh, we'll get it to detail and we'll get it ready for the, the gentleman that's picking it up. Uh, phenomenal car, you know. I'm blown away. I'm blown away. I really can't wait to see the E-Ray. I don't know when we'll get one, if we'll get one, whatever that is, but I'm really looking forward to seeing that car. Thanks for watching this quick video, guys. And if you're wondering what this car actually sold for, well, you know, that's actually, uh, it's G14 classified.